What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. The research is finally done for the subsonic sword, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. However, unfortunately, I have bad news for this. That's the fact that... Yes, way to go past me, wave the mouse around. I'm having to do this post-commentary. Because at the time I recorded this, the next task is now to fight four hybrids, as you can probably see. At the time I had to do this, my best friend was passed out in my room when I did this. So I couldn't have any of my audio on, and thus just did this. So this may or may not be another quick one, it's just me fighting a bunch of hybrids. It's some different tasks and some other different things. But I just want to walk you through some of the strategies I used for this one. So this one's nothing new, we have a scrapper who's considered one of the hardest of the hybrids. So I decided something different, I was going to use Juggernaut to try and fight him, because obviously he had a power boost for melee fighters like Iron Fist. So I decided, oh what the hell, what's the worst that could happen? Oddly enough it wasn't that bad, mainly because the hybrid was already near dead there at 13%, but, you know. Opened up with the basic phase of Iron Fist's heart of the show Lao straight into his praying lotus to keep the debuffs off of us. I'm trying not to go ahead of my video footage, that way I'm... <laughs> it's real weird because I've never done this before. Obviously follow up with my Bosch and Gus blade, got some more extra damage against him. And now he'll go after <laughs> Juggernaut like an idiot, giving him stacks of enraged. And of course, whip up will happen. Iron Fist decides to take it upon himself to just beat the living shit out of him. And Juggernaut already has two stacks of enraged, making him already powerful enough. And there I was trying to check see if he had all of his momentum, which is needed for his third ability. But since he didn't, I went ahead and used. Oh, that was weird. Surge of Sidorak. To give him unstoppable force and strengthened. Unstoppable force actually gives him uh, increased melee damage for or unarmed attack damage. Which is obviously all Juggernaut's attacks are. And of course Iron Fist decided to do his thing and stop Hybrid from attacking first. Or pre-actively countering with Combo Breaker. Which is another thing I want to talk about, this basically plays itself out. I attack him some more, and then I use Juggernaut's, uh, don't you know who I am? Or is it, I'm the Juggernaut? Whatever. To finish this fight off, uh, people have been talking about a new weapon that have, that's come out, which is, uh, for the gold sale that was currently on, I think it's still here until the 27th? But anyways, with most of the gold sales, you're rewarded with... Oh, well, if you know, you pay 50 or $100. I think that's what the prizes are. Or is it 25 I don't remember. But you get a new weapon with it. In this case, it's the Raft sh Shank. Which does some okay damage. Its main thing is that it has Combo Breaker, much like Iron Fist. And everyone's already bitching about it. Which is stupid. They expect us to pay $50 for that, blah blah blah. It's like, dudes... Iron Fist is right there. I'm just saying. I got one sandbox for defeating him. And since I had to go fight four, I went ahead and took on four more. Or three more. The first up being a bruiser, which, if I recall right, I think this is the one I tried Iron Man against. Or no, 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 this is the one I did Havoc against. Right. I tried using the Destroyer of Worlds to crush this guy. I unfortunately came across an unusual bug with Fandral here, being my you know, main go-to-er for depowering people. God, this is a lot of work. Oh, fuck post-commentary. <laughs> but, uh, I actually discovered bugs that you'll uh, probably no doubt notice at this time when I go to use Fandral's On Guard ability for some reason. It just wouldn't trigger. Like, I used it, and he had nothing that should have prevented him from not using it. Like, uh... It's just like, it used, but it wasn't applied. Is the best way I can describe it. And I think that actually happens 
in another battle in this, and I actually check it to see what was wrong this time, and I just couldn't find out what was wrong. I don't know. See, so it's right there. All he got applied to him was weakened and pain. Now, if I'm right, which I am, that was the end of Hybrid's turn, so of course I go to start working up, setting up Havoc for his Annihilation Blast. I don't know what it's actually called, but, you know, his big laser where he kills everyone. So here I go to work, setting up on guard. You'll notice right there, it did not trigger at all. And obviously I'm right here trying to figure out, like, what the hell just happened? I didn't get any boost and nothing happened. And all he has is weakened in pain, which doesn't make sense to me, so I'm thinking... Maybe there was something I missed, just something that stopped him, but I couldn't find any. I don't know if it's a bug with the character, or if it's just something, I don't know. It's just weird. So I decided, oh fuck it, I don't want Fandral's turn to go to waste, so I just use the elixirs. That way I can also get him to use his. Hindsight, I should have actually just used that instead of the scroll of Anglobov, as it would have gotten rid of his uh, debuffs anyways, but, you know, hindsight's 50-50. And so I just decided to poke him, just to do some damage, since Vandral wasn't able to do anything for some unknown reason, which still haunts me to this day. Luckily, his witty retort is still working, for all that that does. So Hybrid basically kind of creams me in this fight because of that. And also because he got rid of all his debuffs, making, uh... Setting up Havoc, basically a waste of time, but I still decided to go through with it and fire off his big laser just to see how much damage it would do. And it's a fair decent amount. I mean, decent for the fact that he can't crit him. I mean, if he could crit him, it would be ridiculous. And of course, since Fandral's now out of on guard, or it didn't even apply in the first place, I just go ahead and apply bleeding to him just to cause some additional damage. I still can't figure out why Fandral didn't apply his power, or what stopped him from doing it, if anything. I don't know. I also don't remember if I actually won this fight or not. I want to say that I, I've, well, I've obviously already weakened him down to the point he needs to be, but I'm fairly sure I don't kill him. I came damn close with one off screen and it made me really mad I wasn't recording it. It was actually a fight against a scrapper hybrid and I used Iron Fist and X-23 in her war outfit. I just got so lucky on that that she kept countering him, giving him stacks of bleeding all the time and then just may used her uh, third ability and I brought him straight down from 60% to about 10%. And I was so angry that I didn't kill him. That would have been one hell of a ride. I did get like 200,000 silver out of it though. So that was well worth the ride. Still angry I couldn't show it off. It's like, if there was ever a definition of anything going right at all, it was that. Okay, see, so Fandral finally got on guard working here. Why it didn't work his first turn, I still don't know. But at this point, it doesn't matter because, well, we're running out of time and Havoc's almost dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm just trying to get as much damage on him as I possibly can before he leaves. Because I've kind of, I've come to the point of, I know I'm not going to beat him, so let's just get some milk him for some silver. And I did. I don't remember how much I did, though. Wow, only 50,000? It seems like so much more when you're actually playing. I don't know why. Crazy. Alright, Infiltrator Hybrid. If I recall... What did I use for this one? I don't even remember. I know I tried switching up my tactics. Like, I tried using different people that I didn't use in either my first fights with Hybrid or the Group Boss Hybrid. And I think for this one... I think I either... Oh, this is the one I use Satana and Spiral on. Okay. Because I had the idea, like, Satana's powers work that she can apply... She can give me extra damage on top of Boshinga's Blade and just do absolutely ridiculous damage. And, of course, Spiral would be my depowered girl. 
She would just keep applying Deep Flower onto Hybrid. It was absolutely phenomenal, but again, I don't think I killed Hybrid. Um, I weakened him, but I don't think I killed him. I think I came really close, though. Just because Spiral's, uh... Flash Bolt, thank you, past me, for scrolling over that enough so I could see that. That Flash Bolt combined with Satana's buffs just had it doing ridiculous damage. I think at points I was doing 12,000 damage with it, and she was just my main go to her. And of course, he got rid of Depowered, his first move, which kind of irritated me. I still think Depower should actually stop his debuff, his, uh, stop his ability his ability to remove buffs, because it just seems like... D-Power is supposed to make it to where none of your statuses. You can't apply debuffs or apply buffs to anyone. And I just feel that should be the same way with his other moves. Like, he shouldn't be able to get rid of all of his debuffs if he's depowered or something. And I know everyone always says, well, why don't you use, like, Apoc Apocalypse Beast? Because not everyone has that, and frankly, my power set is not geared towards having a ton of debuffs on me. See, 14,000. It's crazy. So it's like, hybrid kills me enough as is. I don't need to have debuffs that he can exploit on me too. No, thank you. Also, if I'm going to be doing this in terms of guides like this, I like doing it to where other people can just easily copy it. Go, okay, I've just got to buy this character or whatever. Or buy this thing. Satana also proving useful here because I forget that she can heal. But I don't like using guides for limited edition stuff like that. Uh, Satana is an I is an exception. So are some of the lockbox heroes. But you'll notice I didn't throw them in my guides, and that's why because not everyone can get them. I always hate guides like that that are just like, okay, so to beat this boss, you need the synth cube, the warbringer axe. Wholesome Revenge, and the Neurotype. You know, all those weapons that you can't ever possibly get or have to spend gold on. And it's just, what's the point of doing that? I want to have fun with this game and not spend any money on it. So I try to use things like that. It's like, okay, you just have to farm for this item, maybe pick up this outfit, and you're all good. And you can crush anyone as good as anything else. Also, avoid PvP. That is the greatest advice anyone can give for this game. <laughs> uh... So as we can see, my plan's still going into act. I'm, I somehow missed hybrid, but he still burned alive. <laughs> it's just funny to me. And she missed, which was unfortunate because now hybrid's gonna start bringing the pain. But if I'm correct, I think she got off macabre fandango. At one, here we go. There it is. Which was lucky for me, meaning she dodged it and got an extra turn, and got to apply stats. I couldn't have asked for a better time. And of course, finish depowering him. I have to use stamina because, unfortunately, as good as Spiral is, she drains up a lot of stamina using that ability. But yeah, I don't think I killed him. I came super close, I think, though. And here I contemplate using Dark Invocation, but unfortunately, just due to it not being able to crit, I quickly just get rid of the idea and just decide to heal my characters instead. And of course, going back to using Flash Bolt. And he ran away. Which was not surprising at all. I mean, it was bound to happen. But I still walked away with a pretty good amount of silver. And after a quick break, I come back because I think I was doing something, but now it's on to one that I didn't get to show off, which was the blaster um, hybrid. I, again, I can't exactly, I think, I contemplated using Black Bolt for this fight, obviously, but then I just decided against it because I didn't want to pull him off the uh, flight deck because I was leveling him up. Because I'm bored. So I think I actually pull out Cyclops. I That's what I did. I pulled out my PvP team for this. Cyclops and Iron Fist to try and take down Hybrid. Or was it? I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. 
I think I used a. Uh, I think one off screen I used uh, Iron Fist and Ghost Rider, which turned out to be a really good idea. I got quite a bit of damage off on Hybrid using a uh, Pen and Stare. Only because I knew I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off at another point in time because immediately after that turn he got rid of all of his stacks of sin. But this fight opens up pretty much the same way of using Praying Lotus to keep debuffs off my characters. Of course, Hybrid goes to work, working on Cyclops, who immediately got a bonus attack for this. And then I got retarded for a second. And just applied evasive maneuvers course my standard setup for all these and then I wonder what that uh, ability is that he had on him which was a uh, focused hybrid which uh, focus of hybrids attacks attacks guaranteed attacks against this target are guaranteed to hit and crit I think that's what it is it's something like that but basically it means hybrid gets a bonus when attacking Cyclops pretty much which doesn't seem to bother him Okay, I'm gonna say it's hit and crit, because that's all that just happened right there. And of course, every one of everyone's evasive maneuvers triggers all at once. Now, I don't remember how well this setup actually worked for me. I know I took him down the 5% I needed, but I don't remember if it was actually anywhere near good for using it in a regular fight, or if I would have used, like, someone different. Hindsight, I could have used Fandral again, but eh, that was getting a little stale, so I just decided to switch things up with Cyclops. And now uh, it basically boils down to like a PvP fight where I just keep punching them and punching them, applying flanked and keep punching them. Ugh. God. I don't see how people do post commentary. This sucks. It's hard as hell just to keep talking about. Okay, and I did this, and this, and this. Also, it's hard keeping myself from, like, moving and being all jittery. Not doing something because I really want to, like, just move the mouse around like I'm actually playing the game, but I know that's not true. Because I already did that. So, yeah, I think I've already managed to take him down about 10%, maybe? Uh, 23 to 27. It's small on my screen because I'm keeping track of my uh, recording software right now so I can make sure that all the times line up perfectly for when I have to go splice this into editing. More fun times. <coughs> okay, so I've basically brought him down about 10%, so that's a pretty decent strategy. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. So I'd heal up Cyclops because I needed him to keep applying flanks so I could keep getting some uh, attacks in with, uh... oh, think of his name, Iron Fist. Because I think at the end of the strategy, I actually tried to, uh... I tried to use the White Hot Iron Fist despite knowing that it probably wouldn't do that good because it wouldn't crit. And that's one of its main gimmicks is it has deadly crits on it. But alas, I still tried it anyways, just cause, well, I think it was the last attack I had against him. God, I love Combo Breaker. What would I do without it? I have a sudden urge to play Killer Instinct now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is, this is boring. I'm literally just sitting here watching my footage going, Ugh. God. I really am sorry about this, like I said. The main reason I did this was because I had hybrids at that time, as you saw. And I don't know how many people out there have actually fought hybrids before, but I know like with my group of friends or allies, um, my hybrids don't last long. And their hybrids don't either, because we're like that group that just whores ourselves out to the internet and just says, okay, add me as an ally, pretty much kind of thing. And... I know a bunch of them get a text, I'm like, uh, do I don't want to risk waiting until the next day to record this? 
Uh, I don't know if those hybrids will be around. And I had already been stalling this episode for a couple of days because my hybrids had not shown up yet to be able to do that. So I'm like, okay, I've just got to do it. Oh, crap, he's asleep. Or he's, uh, he's here right now. Why did my hybrids have to show up right now? I was just like, oh, I hate doing it, and I don't want to do it, but I'll do post-commentary on it. Oh, no, did I kill, uh... He's about to escape. Did I kill Hybrid on this one? I don't think I did. I think I was judging to try and see how much attacker uh, that... Iron Fist had because I was going to try and do a last ditch effort to try and kill Hybrid. Either that or I was going insane. One of the two. Probably both. Okay, no, I was checking his attacker because I wanted to see how much damage I could possibly do. Because he already had, uh, whatever on him. But I think the way it turned out was... Oh, no, he ran away. I was going to say, I thought it turned out with him, uh, Basically, having one more turn left, but I guess that was in a different fight. And now with the four finished, we got a new task. Yay, I finished four. Which was to complete two-star mission two, which I did in my free time. I also three-starred it. And now I had to complete five flight deck missions, so we'll just skip ahead of that.
And with that taken care of, we now move on to the next task, which was to use Anti-Venom's attacks, which unfortunately I never got to because the episode was running long anyway, so next time we'll be using those and continuing into Mission 3, so until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.